Hey, this is Will from Lifter LMS. In this video, I'm gonna talk about drip on Lifter LMS courses. And the drip settings allow you to have lessons become available a number of days after enrollment in a specific course. And you have a few other options associated with dripping out content. So let's take a look at my screen here. If I go to the back end of WordPress under courses, I'm gonna enter the builder area on my specific course here. And if I expand my first section here on this little edit lesson icon on all of my lessons, I can click on that little settings icon and I have the option for drip method. And so this is where you can set the drip options for lessons and let's see what options I have available. I can either say on a specific date or number of days after a course enrollment. And so if you wanted to do on a specific date, this would be most useful if you were doing a cohort style course where you had 10 or 20 people going through the course at the same time, or it doesn't have to be 10 or 20, just a whole class of people going through on a specific date. Sometimes we see that where people will clone their course and have a January course, a February course, and a March course. And in that case, the drip method of on a specific date might be a good idea. So if you were starting a course January 1st and lesson two becomes available on January 2nd, that's when you could set a specific date and time that this lesson becomes available to students. And the other option we have available, instead of on a specific date, the most common option is number of days after course enrollment. So I could set this to be one day. So the purpose of doing this would be if you didn't want students to just go through the course very quickly if you wanted them to take their time and maybe reflect on the material or come back tomorrow and start lesson two. So this way they would have access to lesson one immediately, but lesson two doesn't drip out until one day after you enroll. So it kind of forces you to go through the course a little bit um, slower than some people who might just rush through the course really quickly. Um, and usually it's good to leave no restrictions where people can just go through the course as fast as possible, but some uh, industries would like to have a sort of a metered approach where you have to take your time. So a third option we have for drip method is if we have a prerequisite enabled, a prerequisite real quick, we have another video on this, but prerequisites are basically where you require lesson one to be complete before being able to move to lesson two. So it's sort of creating a chain and you can see this little chain icon here lights up when we enable the prerequisite. So you're creating a chain. So if I wanted to go down all my lessons and set a prerequisite, I pretty much with the prerequisite am saying that you need to complete these lessons in order. You can't just skip around. So once I enable the prerequisite, we'll have a third option for drip method, which is number of days after prerequisite lesson completion, which is similar to number of uh, days after enrollment, but instead this would be like you complete lesson one, now you have to wait a day to go to lesson two. So those are your three main options for drip method in Lifter LMS. Uh, feel free to let us know if you have any questions about drip in the comments below. My name is Will Middleton from Lifter LMS and I will see you in the next video.